It is finally good to be back with you guys after such a long break. As you know, your ability test is coming up this month and I couldn't let any more time pass without me going through the basics of the ability test. I hope that you are doing your best to prepare for your exam. As you know, the ability test is the only exam that you will be getting this year. That means it will be weighted heavily and based on trends that I am seeing, it will be linked to all the different core subject areas. So questions will be linked from mathematics, science, social studies and language arts. Stay tuned to the video as we go through the verbal and reason sections of the ability test paper. As you know, the verbal section of the ability test is, to, is where students analyze text and make inferences and conclusions, while the quantitative reason section looks at how students use mathematical concepts to solve problems. Verbal reason question types focuses on analyzing text to make determinations, make inferences, and draw conclusions. Let us look at analogy type questions. Now for analogy type questions, you must identify the relationship between the given pair of words, then use that similarity to complete another pair of words. Now, the question you'd have to ask yourself, what is the relationship between the first pair of words? Now the first pair of words in this example is Jamaica is to England, as Cuba is to. Now the first relationship is that Jamaica was a colony of England. Now, the question you have to ask yourself is Cuba was a colony of which country? The answer here in this, for this analogy type question is Spain. Moving on to classification type questions. Now, you are to group objects based on similar characteristics. The options will have something in common. One option will not fit in. For example, which does not belong to the group. Now, looking at this group, what similarities can we find about all these options? Well, we have candle, flashlight, mirror, and the sun. Now, if you look closely, most of the things in the group, or the options in the group, are things that have to do with light. Now, candle can produce light, Flashlight produces light, and the sun produces light. If you look, the mirror is the only one that reflects light. So, all the others in the group are producers of light, making them luminous. The only one that reflects light is mirror. So, that would be the odd one out there. For essential part type questions, you must identify which part from a given list is most important. For example, which is an essential part of the word in bold? The word in, bo in bold this time is tablet. Now, you'd have to ask yourself, which of the options does a tablet can't do without? Can a tablet work without the internet? Yes, it can. Can a tablet work without a keyboard? Yes, it can. Do you have to have a case? On a tablet to use it no now can a tablet do without a screen no a tablet can't work without a screen it would defeat the purpose of having a tablet so the option here would be screen moving on sequencing now there are many different type of sequencing questions now for sequencing type questions students are required to analyze patterns then use them or it to determine what should be next, based on an established order. For this type of sequencing question, there is no established order. However, you are to arrange the words given below in a meaningful sequence. You have word, paragraph, sentence, letters, and phrase. Now, we all know that a letter would come first. If you realize all the options start with four. So we know that a letter comes first. Now, after we have letters, then we have words. So, 
one would come next. Then, after word, we can get phrases. So five, so that's four, one, five. After phrases, we get sentences. So that's four, one, five, three. And the last one would get a paragraph. So that option would be B. Moving on to text completion. Now this may vary. Students are required to use context clues to determine choice of words based on a variation in spelling, usage, or meaning. Right? For example, the church members clap and dash cheerfully in the church each Sunday. Now they clap and praise. Now, which of the praise matches this sentence? Is it the praise as in P-R-E-Y-S? No, it's not. Is it the praise as in P-R-A-Y-S? No, it's praise. It's definitely not praise. So it's praise. Artificial language. You will analyze words based on an invented language and derive rules or patterns from them. You will then have to use these rules and patterns to figure out the other words in this made-up language. Here are some words translated from an artificial language. Gmolinia means fair warning. Jeremitu means report card. Gilajeri means weather report. Now, which word could mean fair weather? Now, if Gmo means fair and Linea means warning, Jerry means report, Mitu means card, and Gila means weather. Thus, Gmo Gila is the correct choice. Reading. Now, reading questions will ask you to read a given passage and to answer questions at different levels. For example, puppies are very small when they are born. They cannot see until they are about two weeks old. During this time, they stay very close to their mothers. Now, the question is, why do puppies stay close to their mothers? Now, puppies are very small when they are born. So the answers would be they cannot see. The answer can be found as you can see right here in the page. Now, not all reading type questions, you can find answers directly from the passage. You may have to infer or use context clues to find your answers. Logical deduction questions are simply a combination of information. Your goal is to come to a logical conclusion based on given statements. Now, example, the statements in a question. All mangoes are golden in color. No golden colored things are cheap. Now, the conclusions are, all mangoes are cheap, golden colored mangoes are not cheap. Now, you'd have to ask yourself if these conclusions matches. Now, is it only conclusion 1 that follows, only conclusion 2 that follows, either 1 or 2 follows, neither 1 or 2 follows, both 1 and 2 follows. Now, the conclusions repeat again, all mangoes are cheap. Golden colored mangoes are not cheap. Let us look back at the statements. All mangoes are golden in color. No golden colored things are cheap. So based on that, our conclusion, our correct conclusion would be that golden colored mangoes are not cheap. So that would mean that only conclusion two follows. The quantitative reasoning section of the ability test paper comes into different categories. For this section, you have patterns, representing quantities, comparing quantities, approximation or estimation, data analysis, and problem solving. Now, these can also correlate. So one question can have patterns and data analysis. It may have data analysis and problem solving. Patterning involves identifying, generating, and describing patterns in a given sequence. Sometimes it requires completing or extending the pattern in a given sequence. For example, which of the following completes the sequence? Now, as you can see, in this sequence, it started at zero degrees north, or zero degrees. Then it went up to 30 degrees north, then 60 degrees north. So we are going up north by 30 degrees. 
Now, if we are going up north by 30 degrees, which of the following options would come next? It couldn't be 30 degrees south. It couldn't be 60 degrees west. So, the option there that is, is, is suitable is 90 degrees north. Representing quantities. Now, this involves making sense of quantities, understanding the meaning of the quantities, and using a variety of ways to create a coherent representation of a problem. Now, these question types may vary. Now, for this example, it asks, which ocean is the smallest? Now, all you'd have to do is to look at the options to see which of the values is the smallest. And if you observe closely, the Arctic Ocean would be the smallest. Moving on to comparing quantities. Now, this involves comparing numbers, fractions, all or decimal, to determine which is more, less, or equal. It also involves comparing quantities based on their mass, length, temperature, or capacity. This example reads, St. Thomas is 742.48 kilometers squared. Now, which parish is larger than St. Thomas? Now, look at option A. 874.3 kilometers squared is larger than 742.48 kilometers squared. So as we can see, the first option is actually the correct option. That would be option A. And if you look at all the other options, they are all smaller than 742.48 kilometers squared. Estimation involves using approximation to solve real world and mathematical problems. The example read, which water body makes up almost 50% of the world's oceans? Now, option A, Indian Ocean, 19.5%. Option B, Pacific Ocean, 46.6%. Option C, Atlantic Ocean, 23.3%. Option D, Southern Ocean, at 6.1%. Now, you would have to ask yourself which of these options are closest to 50%. If you observe closely, the only option that is close to 50% is Pacific Ocean at 46.6%. Now, data analysis involves sorting data based on characteristics. It also requires reading, interpreting, and making inferences from data presented in tables and or graphs. For example, Mr. Smith wants to determine the best brand paper towel he should use in his kitchen to soak up water by carrying out an investigation. The number of pieces of paper towel used to soak up 150 milliliters of water in each case is given in the table. Now, this is a table. You have brand A, B, C, and D. Now, brand A uses eight, piece, eight pieces. Brand B uses four pieces. Brand C uses six pieces. Brand D uses five pieces. Now, which is the best brand paper towel for Mr. Smith to use? Now, people want to use less. So, if he wants to use less, then the one that is suitable would be brand B because it only, only used four pieces to soak up the water. Problem solving. Now, this involves using mathematical knowledge and skills to solve real-world mathematical problems. You are to make sense of the problem, reason abstractly and quantitatively, use mathematical models to interpret and solve problems. Now, an example of a problem-solving question type. In a competition, the top five persons are awarded a cash prize. First place receives $2,000. Second place receives $1,000 and third place receives $500. If the trend continues, how much money would fifth place receive? Now, this is a very easy problem solving type question. Now, all you need to do is to follow the trend. For each step after, the money is cut into half. Now, if you realize for first place it was $2,000, second place received $1,000, and third place receive 500 so that would mean that fourth place would receive 250 dollars 
Now, it didn't ask you for fourth place. It asked you for fifth place. So if four, fourth place would receive $250, that would mean that fifth place would receive $125. Here is another problem solving type questions. Now, square tiles of the same size are used to cover a rectangular floor. Now, how many more tiles are needed to complete the floor? The first thing that we'd want to do is to check to see how many tiles can the floor hold in all. Now, we'd have to check the rows and the columns. So, let's see how many, how many rows we have going across. Now, we could simply use a line right here to join these two right here. And we know that we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 going across. Right? So we have 10 going across. Let's check to see how many we have going up. We could use this line right here. Draw it up. And based on our estimation, we can say that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 going up. So we have 5 going up and 10 going across. That would mean we have... 50 tiles in total to make up the floor. We would have 50 tiles in total to make up the floor. Now, the question asks, how many more tiles are needed to complete the floor? Now, we would have to count the amount of tiles we started with. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, if we started with 17, and the entire floor holds 50 tiles, then all you need to do is to subtract 17 from 50 and we would get 33.